hello let me explain how the program will works so in very first step you have to remove uh, delete the files uh, with the have uh, C at the end actually that is uh, uh, backup for uh, previous uh, simlink file so just remove it delete it so I have to just open the without DG uh, simlink file I have opened it here uh, it is opening and here you can see there are some results so just close it and uh, open this file again uh, so there will be no uh, stored results so fault current and uh, uh, so here you can see all the things are empty fault current dg power etc so unless you have to open the uh, 29c you have to just remove this file so i click on the remove button and now uh, you know uh, solar case and uh, 29 dg case is same so just open it up i'm going to compare the solar case and without dg case so here you can see nothing is uh, there are some values stored so here you can see that is uh, uh, 6881 that is uh, i mean more than the dg power so just remove it up so again open it up again open the file here is without dg file stored nothing is here in it and here we have dg1 file 29 location and nothing is stored in here so uh, when i click on the run button here you can see that nothing is uh, in our workspace so uh, actually there is a, a small tolerance uh, five percent for uh, every time you run the program there will be a small difference in the values so don't worry about these there are a lot of parameters and uh, due to that uh, results may be a little bit different so just ignore small factors so here you can see without dg and that file is compiling and running that is without dg and here you can see 7990 is our fault current okay so here that will value will be printed now here you can see just a moment wait so here you can see 7 when uh, when I click on run solar case here you can see 7.990 or 7990 is the same value 7990 and 7.990 e raised power 3 is the uh, same thing so still there is no value in the digimon power so let me check First, uh, first program will here uh, at the digilocation 29 it have 1191 dg power that is 1191 okay so in the dg1 file here you can see we have 1191 or 1213 1213 and uh, that is the case in this case foil current is zero and after two seconds our dg power is changed and fault current will becomes this uh, this is what uh, happens there initially we have a correct value of dg power and uh, utility power and at that time uh, fault current will be in minus and now after two seconds after just uh, open this fault block and here is two seconds so uh, you uh, i mean this is a switch at two seconds uh, before two seconds we have original values uh, at original values before two seconds uh, I mean when input will come into this file in, into this system uh, then initially it have uh, uh, 13 uh, 9 so uh, I mean here in this file mean where is the file here here we have a digi power that is 11 11 91 uh, just calculate this factor 11 1191 if you remove erase power 3 then this value will become 1191 and when you will calculate kva then this will be becomes a six digit number man you did not get this point uh, here this value is in kva and that is 1191 kva is a separate thing so when i include the kva then this will become the six digit numbers so here the power that is in six is correct but uh, dg power is uh, uh, increasing four times not from kilowatt to megawatt this is from uh, 12 uh, 12 19 1.1 1.129 uh, uh, it is exceeding from 1.319 to 5.253
so it is uh, increasing four times and uh, when we uh, initially when i see, uh, when i show in my video you can see fault current was in negative and here in dg power power was 1319 so i show you two seconds after two seconds uh, when fault will occur you can see this is a switch Be before two seconds we have no fault uh, in system and uh, fault current will be in negative and dg power and utility powers were exactly same that we have uh, printed here that i have pr uh, actually our case is dg that i printed here dg power so after two seconds when fault occur then the system uh, then the system uh, fault current increase and the dg power um, is uh, is disturbed uh, i mean it's uh, disturbed that's why the relay in the system operate and the system will be closed so you uh, you are arguing on this point that why uh, here is f uh, 5 megawatt you say here is 5 megawatt and uh, here i have 1.19 kva so just a moment just uh, ignore uh, just think we have this value 1.19 and kva also have 10 raised power 3 so this value becomes 1.19 e raised to 10 raised to power 6 i mean e raised uh, 1.19 e uh, 10 raised to power 3 is our value and when we include kva then e, uh, it becomes 10 raised to power 6 so that value is uh, correct don't worry just there is a different here is 1.19 is original value and uh, that value is increased from 1.19 to uh, 5.25 so difference is this 1.19 to 5.25 so i think so you will be uh, clear now